after their pregnancy and begin to we're asked for a little bit better movement in their body overall. Now one of the challenges of being a mother is that you've gone through this huge transformation that as the baby begins to grow in your womb, the pelvis tilts forward, everything begins to get distorted with organs, the back changes shape, the legs have to do something different, who knows where your shoulders and head are. And so after the birth, um, a woman is still having to try to work hard because she's always picking the baby up and putting the baby down. So there are all sorts of challenges in education in how to move, how to lift a baby that's 10, 15, 20 pounds without hurting your back. So a lot of focus, which is really the main focus of Rolfing, is to try to begin to balance the pelvis, which has been distorted tremendously. Now we do that by working not only muscles and tissue around the pelvic girdle, but by looking at how the legs are supporting the pelvis, by looking at how the back is relating to the pelvis in general. So ideally your pelvis should have a good amount of movement, it should be fairly stable, and as we begin to work with that, then a lot of the pains that may go along with being a mother and playing with the baby and nursing and doing all the things that a mother does become so much easier. You know, a lot of times there's a lot of sleepless nights involved with being a parent. There's a lot of demands and challenges, even if your child is real healthy. So it really helps the relationship a lot if you've got a body that is really strong, that you feel good in your own body, so you can pass this information on to your child. Now, as children, we learn a lot of things by just watching our parents move. And if the parent walks in a real odd way, if they stomp their feet along as they come in the door, if they hold their body in a certain way, the child unconsciously will just begin to imitate that because they think that's how you're supposed to be. So, in a sense, if you'd like to teach your child how to be in life, how to stand up tall, if you'd like them to have better posture, it doesn't do a lot of good just to say, sit up tall. But if you can sit up tall yourself, if you can move around the house, if you can play with your children with a sense of ease and show them how to be in life, then you'll be teaching them how to be in life without ever saying a word. They'll learn a lot more by watching you than they will by anything that you've ever told them. So, thank you for watching, and if you've got any questions, please feel free to call me or email me. I'd be glad to hear your thoughts. As I said before, the collagen tissue is a very special tissue. It's a very special kind of a, of a complicated protein tissue. And it is special in the sense that by the application of energy, you can change its length and its resilience. Now, as the Rafa applies energy at this point, perhaps, and this point, at any rate, in the neighborhood of the place where the tissue is built up into something of a hard little knot, as he applies energy there, the glue seems to dissolve. And all of a sudden, he feels under his fingers that one muscle is moving on the other muscle freely, and that these two muscles can begin to operate in their respective directions, in the direction called for by their design. Feel it moving there? Yeah. Feels like a little, a little piece of, a little thin wax paper sliding. Mm -hmm. That's the fashion. <laughs> So if you'd like to have the vitality and the balance in your body that you had before childbirth, I'm confident Rolfing can help you. Go to my website or give me a call. How does that sound?